Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. In this quick and awesome video, I'm gonna teach you how you can screen mirror your Samsung phone, any Samsung phone by the way, to your known Android Samsung TV. So it's completely free. We don't need to download any third party apps because everything is built into it and you can do a lot with this. And I mean a lot, a lot. You can use camera if you want to. You can, you know, watch YouTube videos. You can listen to Spotify if you want to. You can watch TikTok, watch Instagram, whatever you do. It's completely free and it's really, really quick as well. So let's dive right into it. All right. So before we start, just wanted to say that in this video, I'll be using Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, but it doesn't matter what a Samsung phone you're using. OK, so let's dive in. All right, so a couple of things before we uh, before we actually do this. The first thing you want to do on your Samsung phone is to go to your settings. Go to settings on your Samsung phone, of course. Now, inside the settings, the first thing we need to address is the connections. Yes, we do need a connection for this. So in this case, you have two options. You have your home Wi-Fi, of course. I'll show you both, actually. You have your home Wi-Fi and you have your mobile hotspot. So the first thing I would recommend actually is to use your home Wi-Fi if you have available. It's free, it's homey. I mean, Wi-Fi is good, right? It's You don't need to worry about data. You don't need to worry about anything. If you have home Wi-Fi, I would recommend you go with your home Wi-Fi, okay? But let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you another way you can do this, but just be careful with, just be careful with this one. It's not free, okay? So the second method we're going to be, we should not be using is going to be the mobile hotspot. Now, depending on where you live or your data plans, be careful with this because it might cost you credit. Okay. So once the hotspot is running, it will use your mobile data. So just be careful with it. Okay. So don't go crazy with it. I would still recommend you use your home Wi-Fi because I've seen a lot of people complaining about you, you know, the data, um, the data problems, the credits. You, you know, so yeah, it will, it will. It, it's, it's a trouble okay so just be careful if you're using mobile hotspot but i would recommend you use your home wi-fi but in this in any case i'm going to show you how you can use both so and just for the sake of this video let's just connect my phone to my wi-fi and now we need to, now we need to do the exact same thing on our tv so this is 11 years old samsung known android tv but has uh internet connections okay so and go to your network settings and go inside the network settings inside the network okay so that way you will be able to connect to your wi-fi or your hotspot that is running from your samsung galaxy phone okay so the first thing you want to do on your tv is head over to your network settings by the way if you've never done this before you have to connect your tv to your home wi-fi but if you have done this before just click on network status it will automatically connect it for you so in this case as you can see the first one is going to be my home wi-fi and the second is actually the hotspot that is running from my uh, phone not not exactly galaxy but just to give you an example that if the hotspot is running it will show you in your network settings okay again just be careful with the mobile hotspot it depending on where you live or your data plan this might not be free okay all right so just for the sake of this video i'm gonna sh i'm gonna connect my uh, TV to my home Wi-Fi, but again, you can do use hotspot as well. All right. So if you look closer into the network settings, you have screen mirroring option, or you can also change the source to screen mirroring, but this is 11 years old TV. So we have to manually enable the screen mirroring, but it, you don't have to do that. Okay. But once the TV and your phone are on the, on the same connection, find settings called smart view on your Samsung phone. It should be inside the settings or on your control center. Once you click on smart view, and will automatically scan for all air or any uh, Samsung or any other TV. So in this case, there you go. That's my Samsung TV. Just click on it and click on start now and will automatically connect your uh, Samsung phone to your Samsung TV. By the way, if you have Google TV, I will be linking that video up here. So be sure to check it out. Give all the necessary permissions on your TV and it will and it's done pretty cool right by the way stick to the uh stick to the end because i'm going to show you how you can disconnect as well really simple but that's it for that's it for the video that's it for me actually and uh yeah i hope you like this video if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below i will definitely definitely get back to you and uh, by the way the audio will be coming from your tv i'll show you in a second but that's it for me if you have any questions do let me know please leave a like and subscribe okay and also if you want to join the channel you can join the channel I told you the audio will be coming from the, uh, you know, <laughs> but that's it for the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.